This episode of Captivate Quick Tips is being recorded using VidBlaster. Video production at your fingertips. Hello everyone, I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate Corporation and this is another Captivate Quick Tip. Well, not really. Today we're not doing a quick tip, but rather I wanted to make sure you knew that Captivate 5 was out, and it came out on July 1st, and that it is a very worthwhile upgrade and you should upgrade to it. Uh, you can either upgrade to Captivate 5 or upgrade to the eLearning Suite 2, which includes Captivate 5. Now, in this podcast, I'm doing something a little bit different. I am using a tool called VidBlaster. Now, this is the interface I'm looking at right now. And as you can see, there are different cameras and different players available to me. You can see the volume indicator. So it's got a lot of different capabilities used for video broadcasting, podcasting, uh, meetings, filming, recording, you can stream anything you're doing automatically. In this case, I'm only recording it, but I could be streaming simultaneously. Very powerful, very fast, runs on any PC at this point, does not run on a Mac. Now, that's it for our little VidBlaster uh, advertisement. And by the way, we're not resellers, it's just that I really like the product. And this is a trial version, which is why you see the little VidBlaster logo in the upper right corner of the screen. Let's get to talking about Captivate 5 and why it's a real good upgrade. Now, one of the first features that is really good is Master Slides. Master Slides are pretty much what PowerPoint has had for a very long time. They allow you to define the layout design of a slide and then apply that design to other slides in your piece. It makes for a very consistent look and feel to your products. Now, the second top new feature are Object Styles. Object styles allow you to define the look and feel of a specific object, let's say a text caption, and then you can apply that object style to other similar objects within your Captivate piece. Extremely powerful feature, uh, very similar to cascading style sheets in a Dreamweaver, let's say, application or HTML application, very easy to use, and it makes your piece look very consistent. So that's uh, object styles. Third one is there is a brand new Captivate user interface. The new interface is very efficient. Uh, it's easier to work with. Uh, you don't have to have pop-up window anymore with tabs that you're going back and forth across. Now you can look at the new interface and uh, it, everything's right in front of you. Very easy to work with. The properties inspector on the right-hand side of the screen or wherever you want to move it to is very easy to work with and everything is pretty much at your fingertips. You also have uh, the ability to create a lot of layouts and put things exactly the way you want them using Captivate. Another new feature is improved video capability. Now this is actually really cool. The video capability, let's say you have a one to five minute video or longer, but you want to spread that video out over different slides that may not be contiguous. Now in the old days, you'd have to break that video down into five or six different pieces not anymore. With Captivate 5, you can import that video once, and by the way, it doesn't have to be in an FLV format. You can import an AVI or other formats. It will convert it to um, an FLV or an F4V by using the media encoder automatically for you. So it saves you a lot of production time on the video end. You don't have to cut the video up into five pieces if you're going to use it in five different slides and import them as five different videos. No, you can import one video and then on each slide that you want to show that video in, you have a marker that tells it how much of that video you want to play. Even better, you can synchronize events like text coming on or graphics or animations to the video. So as things are happening in the video, other things can be happening on the Captivate stage. That's really cool. We have been asking for this feature for a very long time and it's here. So I hope you take real good advantage of, of that feature. And finally, one of the top features that I, I just love is the animation effects engine. So in this case, what you can do is take your effects, let's say animation effects like fades, moves, things that you want to do with an object. Uh, you can now add pathing, do all sorts of stuff to an object, bring things from off stage onto stage. Couldn't do that in previous versions of Captivate. Now you have full, whoops, now you have full control of where your stage is. Things off stage, on stage, you can bring everything on as you need it. 
You can also create animations that are custom if you're a Flash developer. Let's say you go into Flash and you create a specific kind of transition and you want to bring that into Captivate. Well, it's easy. You export the animation as an XML file and you import the XML into the object effect engine and guess what? Now you've got your custom animations right inside of Captivate. So if you're a Flash developer and you want to create a lot of custom animations for Captivate, here's your chance. It's real easy to do. And the nice thing about the Object Effects Editor is you don't have to go to Flash. You don't have to go to Swish. It's all right there for you. You can create it without having to even go to PowerPoint now. You can do a lot of the similar kinds of animations that PowerPoint does right inside of Captivate. This is powerful. These are great new features uh, that are in the product. Now, before we finish today, uh, this is our website. It's www.relate.com. And I want to ask you to go visit and get a free 24-hour pass to lynda.com. lynda.com is the top software training company on earth. I, I love lynda.com. They are a great company. I've been using their products and have learned a ton of Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, um, so many different products I have learned using their tools, or really, if I haven't learned it, gotten to use it and know it better. So take advantage of that 24-hour pass at lynda.com. And if you do register, we get a little bit of credit, so that helps fund the podcast. And we do appreciate your signing up and helping out with our podcast. That helps us be able to produce more of these and quicker. Now, we have a lot more podcasts coming up to talk about all the features that we just discussed. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be having those very, very soon. For Captivate Quick Tips, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for watching. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you soon.